The differential equation of the plate transverse deflection has the form that shown in Formula 1. With the use of biharmonic operators, the equation takes the form shown in the Formula 2. Where W is the deflection function of the plate at the transverse deflection, delta squared delta squared is a biharmonic operator, D is cylindrical stiffness of the plate, Q is the law of the transverse load change. The differential equation of plate free vibrations shown in Formula 3 and 4. Where W is the deflection function of a freely oscillating plate, M is the mass per unit area of the plate, EV are respectively the modulus of elasticity of the material and the Poisson's ratio. If the vibrations are harmonic, check the formula number 5. Let us represent the deflection function as a product of the maximum deflection W0 by the unit function f of x, y and substitute it in the differential equation of transverse deflection and free vibrations of the plates that are shown in the formula number 6. If we assume that the plate is under an uniformly distributed load Q, then having integrated equations that shown in the formula 6 over the entire area of the region and having performed the necessary transformations, we will get the formula number 7. We transform the integrals in formula 7. After the necessary transformations, we get the formula number 8. Let us multiply the expressions that are shown in the formula 8 to each other to get the formula number 9. For elastic isotropic plates of identical shapes with homogeneous boundary conditions, the product of the maximum deflection W0 from the action of unformed distributed load Q per square of their fundamental frequency of transverse vibrations in the unloaded states, omega squared with accuracy up to the dimensional factor Q divided by M, is a constant. The design structure is a circular isotropic plate with linearly variable height. Look at figure 1. Numerical studies of the plates were carried out by the finite element method. The design schemes of the composite plates are shown in figures 2 and 3. When calculating the plates, two support schemes were investigated. Rigid pinching along the contour, figure 3a, and hitched support along the contour, figure 3b. Figure 1. Circular plate with linearly variable thickness. A. Finite element scheme. B. Plate thickness. Figure 2. Design diagrams of plates. A. With hinged support along the contour. B. With pinching along the contour. The plate with a diameter of 6 meters is divided into 240 finite elements, 24 elements in the annular direction and 10 finite elements in the radial direction. Figure 1. The thickness of the plate on the support was taken constant, 0.05 meters. The thickness in the center was a variable parameter and varied from 0.05 meters to 0.10 meters with a step of 0.205 meters. The plate was taken from steel of ordinary quality, volumetric weight 78.5 kN per cubic meter. The modulus of elasticity is taken as 2.06 after 105 MPa according to the building code of Russian Federation SP 16.13-330.2017 steel structures. All studies were carried out under the assumption of elastic work of the material. Unformally distributed load was assumed to be 1 kN per square meter. Figure 2. The support was carried out along the contour in the contour nodes of the plates. Two support schemes were provided, hinge support and fixing along the contour. To determine the natural frequencies of the transverse vibrations of the plate, uh, concentrated masses from the empty weight of the plate were applied to the structural nodes in accordance with the lower area of the nodes. Table 1. Results of numerical studies of a circle plate with linearly increasing thickness. From the support to the center, D equals 6 meters with hinged support. Table 2. Results of numerical studies of a circle plate with a linearly increasing thickness. From the support to the center, D equals 6 meters when pinched along the contour. According to the data of tables 1 and 2, 
graphs of changes in the maximum deflections and vibration frequencies in the studied plates and the proportionality coefficient k are plotted. The deviation of the actual value of the coefficient k from the theoretical one was determined by the formula down below. Figure 3. Change in free vibration frequencies depending on the thickness of the plate T sub 2 in the center. Figure 4. Change in deflection by static load depending on the thickness of the plate T sub 2 in the center. Figure 5. Change in coefficient k depending on the thickness of the plate T sub 2 in the center. As a result of numerical studies, the maximum deflections and basic vibration frequencies were determined for a circular isotropic plates with a linearly variable thickness, with a thickening in the center. Studies show that the coefficient k complies within 5% of the dependence of Professor Korobko, only when the ratio of the thickness in the center to the thickness of the support T sub 2 divided T sub 1 equals 60 divided 50 is less than 1.2 for both support schemes. This is due to the fact that Formula 6 was the right for isotropic plates with constant thickness and the distribution of mass evenly over the entire area of the plate leads to a significant error already at the stage of a small difference between the thicknesses at the support and in the center. With a thickness ratio T sub 2 divided T sub 1 equals 100 divided 50 equals 2, the difference between the k coefficient and the analytical 1 is about 20%, and it should be expected that the difference will increase when increasing plate thickness in the center.